Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Ghosts and another episode of Chem Strikes Saturday, which of course is the weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me in Chem Strikes. This was sent in by a guy named Mr. Allah YouTube, who's slowly becoming a legend here on the show. If I had to guess, I would say this is his fourth time on the show. Uh, pretty good YouTuber, pretty good gameplays, and this gameplay is exquisite. And we're running around basically with the Golden PDW Pistol, which of course was recently added, not super recently, but relatively recently added uh, into Call of Duty Ghost. And basically what it did is if uh, you reach a certain rank in your prestiges, you are able to unlock the Golden PDW, which is of course a Golden Secondary, which there's no other version of that in the game, as well as it makes the PDW fully automatic. So it's pretty unique, definitely not overwhelming, it's not a very powerful gun in the slightest but it's still interesting that infinity ward went ahead and added things like this to the game we're gonna be talking about that here towards the end of the video First and foremost, I want to talk to you guys about the perks we're running. So, I know for a fact he's using the muzzle brake on the PDW. That's the only attachment he's using. He's using muzzle brake to allow his PDW to be a bit more effective at a range. As for the perks, we got ready up. Noticing a trend. Every single chem strike it feels, though, has ready up on it. We've got sleight of hand because with this gun, you're going to be reloading really frequently. I wouldn't suggest trying to run around only with a PDW. I mean, if you want to challenge yourself, have fun. But uh, you're definitely not going to do that well consistently. But uh, if you are going to be running around with a PDW, definitely want to use sleight of hand we've got dead silence on there which i feel is honestly an essential perk in call of duty at this day and age you know back when call of duty was first blowing up in call of duty 4 and world of war uh headsets kind of became a thing you know turtle beaches came out i think turtle beach turtle beach ones not even x ones just turtle beach one or maybe it was x ones yeah i think it was turtle beach x ones and now they like x 11s and stuff were out but back in the day we had turtle beach x ones and if you bought that headset you were just clear cut better than everybody because you could hear everybody and of course everyone else is still using standard def tvs and listening through their tv or not using sound at all and if you had a gaming headset you were just ridiculously good you know but at this day and age everyone has a gaming headset everyone can hear you so if you're not using dead silence you definitely need to be we've got scavenger which is definitely actually useful usually i would recommend that people go ahead and use fully loaded instead of scavenger on their on their uh any gun really i guess not even just for pistols any gun because i feel as though fully loaded's a bit better but with this gun he needs to pick up tons of ammo because you don't start with a whole lot so basically scavenger's amazing on this we've got focus which is an amazing perk on everything as well as hardline which hardline plays a pretty key role in this chem strike and you guys are gonna be checking that out later on in the video hopefully so throughout this video we're using once again the golden pdw and you don't get a whole lot of ammo really with this gun you can get a bunch you know he has a bunch right now but you run out of it very very quickly so one of the things he's had to do throughout this video is continually move you know the enemy team is not really essentially spawn trapped like many times when we play on this map when we play on the map strike zone you're, you're gonna see you know people trap the enemy team at the b flag trap them at the a flag trap them at the trap them at any flag really it's a very spawn trap heavy map for domination there's really no trapping in this video it's more or less especially towards the beginning of it it's more or less him running around like crazy and killing all the people that he can there's really no set strategy besides him uh using cover using the map knowing the map and uh always being ready always you know, being aimed on sight always ready for the enemy to come at him which is very nice like the way, like the way he's using uh this uh pallet of beer cases right here he's using that as kind of his cover and listening for the enemy team to come in then he'll pop out when he hears them getting really close and try to take them out just like that guy very smart uh, think about that when you guys are playing is uh, how you guys can use the map to your advantage and use sound to your advantage but for the rest of this video i want to talk to you guys a bit more about the idea of, of call of duty adding more prestige rewards this is the first time i think we've ever actually seen this of course they've tried different things to dabble in it uh, in previous games uh, black ops comes to, to mind but uh, no, we never really had any real prestige rewards in Call of Duty until this one, until Call of Duty Ghost. I think if I have this right, uh, fifth prestige, you end up unlocking the Golden Knife, and at tenth prestige, you unlock the Golden PDW. If I have that right, or if I have those backwards, of course, let me know in the comments. But that's pretty cool that Infinity Ward added that. There's a lot of things to add to the game that I'm definitely not a fan of, but there's also a few things like this that they did add to the game, which I'm a giant fan of. And one of them is prestige awards. Right now, it's kind of limited. We have these two prestige awards, and of course, the Golden Knife and the Golden PDW. I'd like to see it go further. I'd like to see it go further in Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty is a game that I think the developers kind of have an idea. But right here, he actually picks up the chem strike because of the assist, because of Hardline, which is fantastic. But the gameplay is over. You guys have been seeing that. I like that Call of Duty is adding that stuff. I, I think the people that develop Call of Duty need to realize that Call of Duty is a game that people play ridiculously 
ridiculously, almost religiously, uh, like all year. I, I don't think it's honestly all that uncommon for your typical Call of Duty player, especially a Call of Duty player like you guys that watch YouTube and you have such an interest in Call of Duty that you, you spend more of your free time watching YouTube videos like this to either just entertain yourself while watching the game or learn about the game or do whatever. We have a vested interest in Call of Duty. We're all very, very big fans of it. And I feel as though they need to realize that we play the game a lot. I don't think it's all too uncommon for the average player to have 10 days of playtime. Add more rewards. I don't know what those rewards necessarily would be, but add more rewards for reaching higher prestiges. I remember one of the cool things they did in Black Ops when they had the COD point system was they allowed it so you could uh, unlock golden camos in the game and buy them with COD points, but you had to hit 14th prestige before you could do that. And I thought that was kind of cool. It was kind of an incentive, kind of a reward that make you want to continue to play the game. If Call of Duty wants to continue being the cock of the walk and have, you have the biggest fan base possible, I feel as though they need to add more rewards to the prestige system and allow players to continue to play the game and give us more and more motivation to continue to play Call of Duty. Even after we kind of got over the initial bells and whistles of the new Call of Duty game, we're all kind of used to all the new features that come within the game. They need to add more things to the game that gives us more incentive to keep on playing it. You know, of course, most of us, we're going to continue to play it anyway, but wouldn't it be better for everyone overall if we added more rewards for playing the game more? Not pay-to-win system, but maybe a play-to-win system in place where basically you unlock cooler and cooler stuff the more and more you play. Maybe not even make it ridiculously amazing stuff, like make it customization to your kill streaks or different kinds of things like that, or unlocking special camos for your secondaries, or things of that nature, like what they did here in Call of Duty Ghosts. But either way, gameplay's over. I showed you, like, the rest of the gameplay because not only did he get a chem strike, but two of his friends also got chem strikes. And so basically three chem strikes were dropped in that match. And it was pretty freaking awesome looking in my opinion. That team just ran through the enemy team. That was a good solid team of players right there. And of course the awesome golden PW uh, pistol chem strike by Mr. Allah YouTube. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Chem Strike Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. If you guys like to send in your guys as Chem Strikes for next week's episode of Chem Strikes Saturday, everything you guys need to see is on your screen right now. Of course, YouTube's messaging system is awful, so here in PASIC, if you don't know how to send a personal message here on YouTube, linking me to your unlisted Chem Strike, and of course, following all the rules you see on your screen, basically go to my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash nearest cinema. You can even click to it from this video. In fact, <laughs> you can go there, hit the About Me section. There's a Send Message button right down in there. You guys can send me a message from there. You won't be able to title it but just link me your chem strike maybe give a little backstory and of course all that cool stuff in your message but i will see them i do see all the messages and hopefully you can be on next week's episode of chem strike saturday be sure to submit your video if you guys like to go ahead and check out mr ala youtube he's a returning guest here on chem strike saturday like i mentioned i think this is possibly his fourth appearance here in the show so you know he's a pretty good player if you head on over to his youtube channel it's youtube.com slash mr ala youtube similar to his gamer tag but it's mr ala youtube and you're gonna find a lot of videos over there unlike a lot of the people that send me messages for like dear near like how do i grew my youtube channel i'm having such a hard time getting going this guy actually posts daily that's the biggest advice I give to everyone that wants to grow their YouTube channel is you need to post often. You need to get a bunch of videos out there so people can find you. People can't find you if you're not posting. And he's actually going that route. He's been posting daily for just about two months, I think, now. He's got a bunch of chem strikes, a bunch of high-scoring gameplays, as well as some more insightful commentaries towards his life, as well as his, as his thoughts on different kinds of topics and things like that. But if you guys want to check him out, it's youtube.com slash Mr. YouTube. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Chem Strike Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.